hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here from what we have here we take 5 raised to power 6 to the left hand side and we have x minus 2 4 raised to power 6 minus 5 raised to power 6 equals to 0 here then here we can write this as x minus 2 4 raised to power 3 then or raised to power 2 as 2 times 3 that's 6 minus also 5 raised to power 3 then all raised to power 2 equals to 0 here then yeah this follows when we have a square minus b square this same thing as a plus b into bracket open bracket a minus b but this here a standing as x minus 2 all raised to power 3 then b standing as 5 raised to power 3 then what we have here becomes x minus 2 all raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 3 into bracket then open bracket x minus 2 all raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 close bracket equals to 0 here then here we have two possible cases the first one x minus 2 all raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have x minus 2 all raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here then solving on this side is follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets then open bracket a square minus a b plus b square then yeah what we have becomes x minus 2 plus 5 into brackets then open bracket x minus 2 all square minus 5 times x minus 2 plus 5 square close brackets then equals to 0 here that is yeah this becomes x plus 3 into bracket then open bracket expansion here we have x square minus 4x plus 4 then minus 5 open this bracket we have minus 5x plus 10 then plus 5 square 25 close bracket equals to 0 here then yeah we have x plus 3 into bracket then open bracket here we have x square minus 4x minus 5x that's minus 9x then 25 plus 10 35 plus 4 that's 39 close bracket equals to 0 here that is here we have two possible cases the first one x plus 3 equals to 0 or we have x square minus 9x plus 39 equals to 0 here then solving on this side we have x equals to minus 3 which is the real solution here then here we have a quadratic equation we are here equals to 1 b equals to minus 9 and c equals to 39 applying the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a then here this becomes x equals to minus minus 9 plus or minus square root of minus 9 square minus 4 times 1 times 39 over 2 times 1 that is here we have x equals to minus times minus that's plus that's 9 plus or minus square root of minus 9 square that's 81 minus 4 times 1 times 39 that's 1 around 56 over 2 here as this here we have x equals to 9 plus or minus square root of 81 minus 156 we have minus 75 then over 2. The next step here, we can write this as x 
equals to 9 plus or minus square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1 over 2. Then when we separate this root 25, that's 5. We take it out and we have x equals to 9 plus or minus 5. We have root 3, which minus 1 is i over 2. So this here we have two complex solutions here. Then so from the second case here, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a minus b into brackets, open brackets a square plus a b plus b square. And this all we have here becomes x minus 2 minus 5 into brackets. Open bracket x minus 2 four squared then plus 5 times x minus 2 plus 5 squared close bracket equals to 0 here. This here this becomes x minus 7 into bracket open bracket expansion here gives us x squared minus 4x plus 4. 5 open this bracket we have plus 5x minus 10. Then plus 5 squared as 25 plus bracket equals to 0 here. Then here we have x minus 7 into brackets, the open bracket, x squared minus 4x plus 5x give us plus x. And 25 minus 10, that's 15. 15 plus 4, that's 19. Close bracket equals to 0 here. Also, we have two possible cases. First one, x minus 7 equals to 0. So we have x squared plus x plus 19 equals to 0 here. And so, you know, this side, we have x equals to 7, which is also a real solution here. Here we have a quadratic equation. We have a equals to 1, b equals to 1, and c equals to 19. And also applying the quadratic formula, we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 times 1 times 19 over 2 times 1, which becomes x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square is still 1 and minus 4 times 1 times 19, that's 76 over 2. That is, next step here, we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 76, that's minus 75 over 2. That is, here we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 25 times 3 times minus 1 over 2. When we separate this root 25 is 5, we have x equals to minus 1 plus or minus 5, and we have root 3, root minus 1 is i, and over 2. Also, here we have two complex solutions, and therefore, altogether in this problem, we have six solutions here, two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and also two complex solutions there and thank you for watching don't forget these tips subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment see you next lesson bye for now